Okay, so lead code question. Um, in this video, I'm going to um, introduce the solution to this question, and uh, at the same time, I'm going to briefly go through the steps we should follow in the real code interview. So let's get started. The first step in the real code interview is to try to understand the problem. If there is anything unclear, please bring up the question to the interviewer, and uh, at the same time, think about some edge cases. So let's say let's uh, read through this problem. So it's got maximum units on the truck. You're designed to put some amount of the boxes onto one truck. You're given a 2D array box type. The first one is how, how many number of the boxes are there for this box type. The second one is uh, how many number of the units per box. So you're given an integer truck size, which is the maximum number of the boxes that uh, can be put on the truck. And you can choose any box to put on the truck as long as the number of the boxes doesn't exceed the truck size. So return the minimum total number of the units that can be put on the truck. So let's see for the first example, we have one, three, two, two, three, one truck size as four. So first one, first of all, we need to put uh, the first, uh, first uh, type of the box and then the second type of the box, box than the last one. So overall, the maximum unit that can hold by the truck is eight. So essentially, it is a greedy solution. We we try to uh, put the box that can hold the more that can hold more unit to be to be the to be picked first to be to be put on the truck. So uh, essentially, for the solution, it is about. Um, First of all, we need to do a sort based on how many number of the units per box could uh, hold. And then it is more like a greedy uh, algorithm. We are going to um, go go from the f go from the boxes that can hold more units first. And then uh, in here we initialize the total load. We are, we initialize it at zero, which is going to be finally returned. So we iter through the box types, uh, which is already sorted by the number of the units uh, that can be held by each box, and then uh, we get the num so this is uh, we get the number of the boxes for this box type, and um, we need to make sure that uh, the current the for this box type you can hold uh, how many number of this this boxes. It is a minimum amount the number of the, this box and uh, the current truck size. So we plus the total load, which is a box to be loaded for this box type, uh, times uh, the number of the units uh, for each each box of this type can hold, and then we minus uh, the box load, to box uh, to load uh, from the truck size. So if the truck size is equal to zero, then it means uh, there is no uh, there is no we can we cannot load more boxes on the truck. Then we just break it. And finally, we return the total uh, load. So the runtime is going to be n log n. n is the length of the box types array. So uh, after you're done with coding, uh, please uh, make sure that you do some proper testing by setting up some test cases, run through it, or uh, you go through um, some process uh, to explain the code manually and go through a test, uh, the, a simple test case. So that's it for uh, this question and uh, about this uh, video. So if you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.